Hey guys, Drew here, back with another Growlers loss as usual. And uh, in this game, the Growlers lose 4-1 to one to the Utah Grizzlies. Like, come on guys, get your act together. This is the regular season. If you're wanting to make the playoffs, then you might as well should. The Growlers are a 500 team with a month into the season. We need to get our act together or else there's going to be no playoffs for us and it's going to be a long summer. Do you guys want that? I think not. Last year, Growlers, um, Kelly Cup semifinals. The year before, Kelly Cup semifinals. The year before that, um, no, they never played. The, uh, the year before that, they were playing absolutely outstanding and got cut down by COVID. Um, and then the, the first season, we won the Kelly Cup. This is not a team that you'd recognize, honestly. The game they played last night with Chess, um, a total description on how the Wilds have played this season. Luke Cavlin, um has been playing great so far. And um, he won four goals in this game. Like, that is not so cavy as the title in this video. And um, there were a few goals for that you may recognize. Um, Brett Stapley getting one for um, the Utah Grizzlies. He played for Trois Rivier last year. Isaac Johnson getting the first... Um, First goal for the Browns in that game, and it'll be the only goal of the game, and that's his second of the season. I I have a feeling the Browns are gonna mi they miss being at home. That's my guess. But this is just ridiculous on how the Browns have played the season. Honestly, if this was last year or the year before or the year before, like the Browns, you know, they'd be at least at worst like twelve and six, maybe. I'm not sure how many games we are into the season, but um, like. That's pretty much the worst possible case that we've had to a start of the season, I, from what I remember. But um, this is probably one of the worst starts to a Growler season. This is the worst start to a Growler season in their history so far. Um, I'm honestly blaming the coaching. Well, not the coaching, actually. Well, there are people that are complaining about the coaching staff. I'm not too big on the coaching staff. That being said, um, it's pretty much... a uh, Pretty much a done move by um, the Growl organization by um, waiting for players to be coming down from the Marlies, and they only get like a few, um, like three lines of Marlies players uh, on forward, and then like two, one pairing defensemen um, that are Marlies defensemen. And we did get three goaltenders, um, but Slava Pex uh, right now is up in the AHL, and he didn't play the greatest in his time spent with the Growls. Now that he's not, not that I'm saying he's bad, or um, he'll probably be back soon. But um, yeah, and we got players like Alex Coop Miners, um, Josh Victor playing on forward, although he has played forward before. Um, we also got players on defense that have like zero experience in the ECHL, like Lincoln Earn, or um, even like a guy like Jacob Modry who only played three games last year, although he's a pretty good defenseman, that being said. We also have James Lundy who wanted to come back and is he any good? I don't know. Um then we also got Jake Hamilton. He hasn't played much, he's on injured reserve. But um and we also got um senior league players like Jordan Escott on this team this year. All because we expected a bunch of players from the Marlies. There were some more players up with the Marlies that are injured, like Matt Hellickson, Ty Watt, and Jay O'Brien. There is a chance we may get them. We'll have to wait and see what happens though. Trent Miner was a net for the Utah game. Um, he was absolutely outstanding, that being said. The Growls had a pretty good effort in this one, but we still led in four goals. Like, can't be doing that, let alone scoring one goal. By the way, no assists on the goal. I believe it may have been a shorty. I may be wrong about that, but I believe it was. Um, but yeah, that's just... this. I don't know if there's any fans really that are still happy with the way that we've been. Now, there are fans that are still with faith, I believe. Um, and I still have faith in this group, but I don't know. Like, I, I was thinking, like, after the Reading series, like, this is, this is definitely going to be a good team this year. And then the light switch into November. It's been a month. And we're still a 500 team, and I guess that's the way it is now. But yeah, that's going to include today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you guys want um, 
we're on the road to 200 subscribers that would help a lot um make sure to hit the subscribe button down below we're about 15 subscribers left and hopefully we can hit it by the end of um 2023 um but yeah that's when we should be subscribed and i'll talk to you all again soon